All right, everyone, welcome back to the beautiful world of Scum. Today, we're jumping back into a multiplayer server. It's the same one we've been playing on, but you might notice I'm a little bit more geared than when I was the last time we were here. And now, I would say that's because I earned it, but that would be a complete lie. So I apologize, I did not earn most of this. But if we check out our equipment here, you'll see I have this, what is it, the MP5 SD, which is an MP5 that comes with an integrated suppressor. I have got all of this ammo for it with all the magazines. I've got an M9 in my holster and all the magazines full for that too. Now I got all of this because on the server there is a welcome pack which essentially you can claim it when you're new on the server and it allows you to kind of get all of these items including pretty much all the clothes that I'm wearing. And I thought that would give us a little bit of a head start here and kind of mix things up make it a little bit more interesting. Now, if we look at my inventory though, I'm completely full up right now. I did find another MP5 at a police station, as well as another pistol, this Block 21. Now, I'm gonna have to go to a trader at some point and unload and sell all of this. But for now, I decided that since we're, we're well, let's look at the map. We're all the way down in A3. And if you remember the map before, well, before Purge Day, when everywhere was red and nobody was safe, it was mostly the left side of the map. That was mostly PVP. And that's what this red is. That's PVP. So if I go into those areas in red, I am asking to get killed or at the very least asking to get in some kind of fight. But where we're at right now, it's just PVE. It's just me against the puppets and whatever else is out here. If I run into another player, they won't be able to kill me. Or at least they're not supposed to. But as I was kind of running through the map here I did notice that I'm coming up on some kind of military compound so I wanted to check in on this and see what's going on here and maybe come out with a little bit more loot now I haven't seen or heard any mechs yet but that does not mean they're not here in fact I'm willing to bet that they are but we'll find out here in a second and there's definitely puppets and they can definitely hear even though my gun is suppressed if they're close enough they can still hear it so I'm going to have to keep my head on a swivel out here and make sure we don't get snuck up on by any puppets. Let's get over this rock though and let's see Can we see any mechs. I thought this was a military place. It's got kind of the uh, the guard posts and everything, but it almost looks like some kind of solar farm. I don't know. I've never seen this one before. Oh, there is a bunker right down there. Okay. Maybe we can go and check that out. Let me check how much ammo we've got here. Okay. Oh, we're only down four rounds. Let's go ahead and reload this bad boy. Now, I know I feel like I'm fully geared and it looks like I am, which, I mean, technically I am. That doesn't necessarily mean that we're safe. Go down. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Okay, is there anyone in here? Did we wake anyone up? Nope. There is a puppet on the outside. I can hear him. All right, let's do some digging. What I really want is some screwdrivers. So in case we run into any locked boxes, we should be able to pick them. Let's let this guy in. Yeah, he never made it inside. Anyway, let's, let's try to find some food. I am in desperate need for food right now. I don't need any matches. Below 60%, so I would like to get some food here soon. Wait a minute. That's a mech right there. But it's obviously not up and running. We're not going to wake it up, are we? What in the world? Wait, did someone destroy this? There's nothing on the ground. Oh gosh. Okay, my accuracy is not great right now. I hear a laughing puppet too. If you don't know what that is, it's one of the exploding ones. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, see, they explode. Uh, let me fall back here. See how much ammo we got. Okay, we're down to two rounds. See, we burned through that. I also missed half my shots, so that doesn't really help. Let's do some more searching. I have never seen this area. This is... Oh, you know what? This is an abandoned bunker. So there might not be any real mechs here, just the ones that were abandoned. So there's obviously still puppets, which is fine. 
but I think we're mostly safe from actual mechs. It is hard to see these guys through all of this uh, trees and brush. Go down, buddy. Jeez. Okay, yeah, there's another abandoned mech right here. This place is pretty cool. I love that it's all overgrown. Oh, <laughs> it is still on fire. There's a few of them. Oh. And a few pretty charred bodies. This is gory. Oh my goodness, what happened? We can actually search all of these guys too. Interesting. What can we find on them? Um, apparently nothing. Yeah, those guys had absolutely nothing. What about this mech though? Nothing. I don't know what we can actually get from these mechs, if anything. Uh, apparently a metal saw. Can I search all these individually? I can. Some nails. And a parking sensor. I don't think I need a parking sensor. Okay, I am sweating over here. Hopefully I don't pass out from uh, heat exhaustion. Oh. There's a medical helmet. How's that going to look on us? That looks pretty cool. <laughs> I think I'm going to keep this. Let's do some more digging. So, I don't know... If, if we go into the abandoned bunker, I think it's still going to be extremely dangerous. Because I think in the bunkers, there's something a little bit more dangerous than your average puppets out here. I've never came face to face with one. I'm not sure I'm ready or want to. But I say we at least go in there and just see what it looks like. Maybe we can find some decent loot. Okay, so what I just did here, it took a minute, and I unloaded a few of my M9 magazines, because they are 9mm, and I filled up about one and a half of my MP5 magazines, because I didn't realize how much I actually burned through. This is pretty much all I've got left. Is the magazine that's left in my current MP5, which I believe is full. Yes, it is. And then one and a half more magazines. I have not been spending my bullets wisely, and... I might regret that, and I also forgot that I have a whole katana on me, so I don't know why I haven't been using that, but going into here, I think we don't take any chances and we use our MP5 right off the bat. Can I just open this up? Uh, key card missing, so I guess I need the key card for that. Can I go up here and explore anything else? Oh no, we can't even get in the actual bunker, can we? Well, someone made their home up here. Let's search these mattresses. I found that when you search mattresses, sometimes you actually find money, which is kind of hilarious to me. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Fortunately, we need some kind of key card, which we definitely don't have right now. Now, the question is, is where do we get that key card in order to unlock that? Oh, there's boxes here. I'll have to keep an eye out for key cards in the future because I would love to actually explore that thing. All right, is there anything else over here? Oh, there's a truck. Uh, looks like we can't search that. Little guard post. Anything in here? Nothing. There's a knife on the counter. I don't need that, though. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I never really discussed what my plan was for today, and that's mostly because I never really have a plan going into scum, I'll be honest. <laughs> I just kind of wing it every day. But let's see here. What I was thinking is we actually head out east towards the coast here. And maybe we can find a little spot to shack up. That way we're kind of on the edge of the PvP zone. So if we want to go and get some action, we can just run around the coastline and head straight into there. And we've also got a trader down south that we can go to. It's going to take a little, little bit of running. I guess I'll have to work on my cardio. But I think that would be a good spot. I would love to like just claim some other building and just board up the windows and just make it my apocalypse home. I just think that would be really fun. In the past, I've built my own bases out here in Scum, and I think we just kind of switch it up for this one. Also, I just love our outfit right now. We look like an old World War II vet or something. 
I just, <laughs> I just think it looks super cool. And on top of that, I did pick up a military compass, so you can see on the top, when I focus in, we have very detailed directions, so that's super nice. If I don't have a compass, all I can actually see when I focus in is the direction of north. So we have to level up, I think it's probably like our survival skill or something like that in order to see more directions. But having this military compass kind of allows us to cheat forward a little bit in terms of progress. So actually before we go out east, I'm going to go down south really quick and we're going to head to the trader that's kind of nearby me. And I'm going to sell off some of the things in my inventory. Like I said, I've got that extra MP5, I've got an extra handgun. I don't need all of that, but I would like some extra cash. We can throw it in the bank and keep running. Plus, I did find an extra screwdriver, and I know there's a police station in this town because I actually found... Oh, look at that. Screwdriver. Uh, because that's actually where I found these two extra guns that I have. So, brake oil, I don't need that. Why is there a portable fridge in here? Where is that portable fridge? Oh, it's right here. But yeah, now I can unlock at least two potential locked boxes. So I'm going to keep searching for a screwdriver, see if I find anything... And head back oh, over to the police station. Might have to take care of these guys first. Where you at? You know what? Why do I keep wasting all my ammo? I've got a sweet katana. I don't know why I don't just use this. Oh, there's two of them. This might be a bad idea. Okay, let's, let's get inside really quick. I only want to fight one at a time. How about through the window? And look at that. The second box we opened has a UMP-45 and a Deagle magazine. Now, the thing is, is, we are pretty chock full on inventory space. Let me see if I can make some room here. And there we go. So now we have a total of three guns that we can sell. Oh, this is beautiful. And to top it all off, I've got this tactical military pants. Let's throw those on really quick. Make sure we pick up our gun out of there. And now we are fully camoed out. <laughs> we look like we're about to storm the beaches of Normandy. All right, I might do a little bit more digging. Oh, there's another compass. I might try and sell that if I can. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to keep searching a little bit here. And then I'm going to head down to the trader. And then we can find a place to set up our home. All right, so we have made it to the trader. Now you might notice it's a little bit dark. That's because I spent all night running, and on top of that, a lot of time had passed because the server actually crashed a few times. I was having a bunch of issues, and that actually resulted in a bunch of random damage to all my... That guy scared me. I, I, th I thought a puppet had gotten in. But it resulted in a bunch of damage to all my things, which was really unfortunate. And what I had to do is I basically had to open up a ticket, and the admin said that while they couldn't replace my stuff... They could give me a bunch of money for it, which I was okay with because he ended up giving me about $25,000. So I don't, I don't know if that's a lot. It, to me, it seems like a lot. Um, I just got to find the bank. Where's the bank here? Uh, it's to our left. I want to go to the bank and deposit this as quickly as I can. Welcome to I the think most secure I might place need to island. get a new card, though. Uh, it only cost me $100. And there we go. So now I can deposit my money. I've got $25,014 to put in there. Um, I don't want to deposit $2,000. There we go. And yes, I want to transfer that. So now I've got a total of $29,000 or credits, whatever you want to call them. I'm calling them dollars. Oh, this guy looks pretty cool. I'm digging the beard, the aviators. I like it. Hello. I don't know how he's ow, doing ow, that. Ow, ow, ow. Hello. Ow. Oh, I want to show my dance moves. 
Okay. Treasure <laughs> Well, we, uh, we deposited our stuff. Now we need to find the gun shop so we can sell these guns that we have on us. And then maybe we can find a new spot to actually buy our, uh, well, replace our clothes. So the armory is this way. So let's go see if we can find that. And here it is. This is like, th this whole safe zone with all the different, I guess, marketplaces. I don't know. I think it looks so cool. They did it really well. That thing registered? Uh, no, it's not kidding nobody cares so i'm guessing i would probably get a lot more money if oh no it's only worth 113 dollars that's because it's at 8.3 percent which it definitely wasn't at before all of this started but oh that's okay i don't know maybe would it be worth trying to buy some kind oh, of repair kit loaded. let's try let's try and do that let's buy the weapon cleaning kit go ahead and purchase that I don't really have a spot for it in my inventory. And I put it down here and put it in my hands. There we go. Just didn't want anyone to come in and try and steal it from me. Let's go ahead and repair this MP5. Okay, now it's at 100%. Well, we basically used up our entire weapon cleaning kit. And so now we can really only sell it for 1300 So I don't think it was worth buying the $6,000 plus cleaning kit. Um, well, I guess now I know. Let's go ahead and sell that. We'll sell our block 21 for 170 bucks. Yeah, we really don't get much from these guys. And then we can at least get another thousand for this UMP. Okay. Kind of sold everything that we could. Now I'm wondering, does he also sell backpacks, come unloaded. clothing, Security reasons. military bags? Obviously. Here we go. Now do I go straight for a hiking backpack? They're kind of cheap. Or do we go for the regular assault backpack? I do like this assault backpack. It's small, uh, but it still does hold quite a bit of stuff. I would love the hiking backpack, but it just seems like it's just too much. You know what? Screw it. Let's buy it anyway. Let's get a ton more inventory space. It's only 1200 Pretty much what we made today selling our stuff. Let's put that on the ground quick. And then put it in our hands. I don't want to be in here swapping everything over because it's going to require me, I think, putting the bag that I have on the ground. And I don't know if anyone's going to try and swoop in and steal from me. What if um, if I just hide in this little corner over here? Try and do it really quickly. Okay, there we go. And let's see if we can actually sell this backpack. Might as well. So even get a little bit of money for it. Guns come uh, zero dollars. He does reasons. not want this. Okay. Obviously. Never mind. Okay. I think we're pretty good. The last thing I want to do before we leave is hit up this general goods store because I, I could not find food anywhere. I wasn't looking super hard, but uh, let's Welcome just buy some. We're, we're pretty rich right now. Feel free to browse around. Here's what I've got. All right. I am getting some beef ravioli, some beef stew, and this African biltong. I don't know, it kind of looked like beef jerky. All right, so I'm munching down on some of my beef stew. That sounds weird, but uh, once I finish up eating here, I am going to wait out the night and we're gonna head out east finally and see if we can find a place to settle down. Well, all right, I have finally made it to the city. Had to take down a couple puppets because this place is kind of filled with them. And I was kind of eyeing up this building right here. It looks kind of like a beachside hotel. And I'm not sure if these boarded up windows are man-made or not. So let's go check those out. Maybe I should keep my katana out just in case. Because I was thinking, this place is pretty nice. And if we if we have access to the upstairs, I think it would be super cool to have... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I think it would be super cool to have a... And a beachside base here. It's kind of fortified by itself. Let's kind of clear it out first. I don't think there's any puppets out on the roof, is there? Nothing out there. All right, where does this go? Oh, this just goes to the other side. Is there no way to get to the rooms below us? Oh, I guess there is a door right here. So I get, yeah, there is. So there's a little bar area. Yeah, these are not man-made. Okay, so that's good. But I was hoping to find an actual hotel room. Unless this whole place is just kind of a business. And if it is, that's okay. I was just hoping, you know, maybe have my own little bed already there. 
Oh, we've got a kitchen here, too. Yeah, not a whole lot going on in here. All right, we actually found a hotel here. And this thing looks amazing. We are just right off the beach. It's just over, just over there. So let's go in and check this place out. It is absolutely in ruins. Oh, oh did not see this guy. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe we should make sure that this place is clear first. I set off another one. Where are you at? Thought I heard him. Can we break this glass? No, we can't. Okay. Got a staff room. Can we get in here? We can. Oh my goodness, this building is massive. There's going to be so much to actually try and clear. So maybe we don't try and get the whole place clear, but just try and find an area that we like and see if we can put a home down. Well, let me check all these uh, laundry machines first. Okay, well, this is the first room I'm checking out, and it doesn't look very promising right now. This is the entire room. There's not even a bathroom in this place. Or, oh, there was, but it looks like it's blocked off by this dresser. Can we search this mattress? Maybe there's some money in there. Nope, nothing. Well, we need a place with a view. This one ain't bad, but it, the, the boards are getting in the way. Let's keep moving. Let's keep searching. We are only on the second floor. I'm guessing there's a third... Oh, what's going on in here? Nothing good. That looks like the third floor up there, which is not great. Let me see if there's another way to get upstairs. I think we are on the top floor. I was hoping there was three floors, but apparently not. Okay, I don't know if I'm able to get over here, but I'm going to give it my best. Hey, there's a room in there. I'm going to keep going, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, here we go. Got another flight of stairs. That's good. Can we search that? No. Oh, it's a rooftop bar. Oh, with a cucumber. Okay. Well, we didn't come out of this with nothing if we don't stay here. Okay, yeah, just another bar on the other side. You know what, though? How cool would it, would it be to actually have a, a home just right on the rooftop? Wait, we got a bar right here. Maybe we could fix this place up. <laughs> I mean, probably not. But, you know, we got a roof over our head right here. Got access to the stairs on this side, too. Hopefully we don't have to jump through hoops like we did on the other side. Or maybe we just find one of the actual hotel rooms. This one actually has... Oh. Well... I would consider this room, but I don't... Re oh, a melee holster. I'll pick that up. I was going to say I would consider this room, but, I, you know, this is going to cause issues with the neighbors. Let's keep looking. Oh, I think I found the suite. This is kind of the bigger room on the end. Not very cool, though. Well, unfortunately, I was just trying to do some testing to see if I could put a flag down in order to make this my home and it's not allowing me to it's saying it's too close to the building which means apparently we just can't build in this building at all which is super unfortunate i was really hoping to be able to do that unless all i really need is like a little fire i mean i could put a fire up here and we could even put a little cot too but the thing is i want to put down a storage box and i'm not sure it looks like we can but i'm not sure if it would like eventually start to fall apart because we don't have anything to maintain it with. Because normally I know we're supposed to have a flag. I'm not really sure how it's all supposed to work. I'm kind of figuring this out as I go. You know what? We can put down our basic necessities. I think I'm just going to go for it. I was trying to scope out the area to see if there's anywhere else that would be kind of a cool place to lay our head at night. I'm not seeing anything that really catches my attention. Plus on top of that, there is a police station right there. So we can potentially get more guns and things like that. And there's no shortage of buildings or puppets. So, I mean, there's going to be basically unlimited loot out here. And I don't know if we can chop down those trees or not. 
but we're definitely going to try. So I say I get started here and try and put down like the bed, a little campfire, and a little storage box too. Let's start with the storage box. So I kind of want to unload some things. The only thing is, it's going to be an absolute pain to run all the way up the stairs every single time that I want to put the building pieces into like the storage or the bed or whatever. But this is my choice. I still want to do it. I say we put the little storage box on the other side of the bar here. Just so it's kind of hidden and out of the way and it might look like it's kind of supposed to be in here. I mean, <laughs> it's still going to stand out. But yeah, let's put it, I think, right here. Okay, so we're going to need a bunch of rope and a couple nails and then a bunch of uh, wooden planks. So I guess let's jump off this building. Let's do a little digging because we don't have any nails. But we should be able to cut down some trees and make those planks. All right, guys, so I did a lot of searching around the area. I'm heading back to the hotel right now, and I'm having to use my gun and use up some of my ammo, which I don't really like, especially since it's attracting more and more puppets here. Let's get closer to the motel here. Um, but yeah, I'm having to use the gun because my katana is extremely low health, so it's going to be breaking soon. I don't know how to fix it either. I know there's some kind of tool that we could use in order to try and fix it. I just don't know what it is offhand. But I don't really want to risk breaking it and then not being able to repair it. Because I think if it goes all the way down, I might not be able to. I'm, I might be wrong about that. But I might not be able to fully or just repair it at all if I completely break it. So I'm just not going to use it right now. But anyway, let's get up here. I've got the two nails that I need. Let's throw those in. And there we go. We have our inventory. Um, before. Before I get too distracted with the inventory, I don't know if any of those puppets followed me up here. Thought I still heard one, but I think we're okay. I really wish this door closed or that I could put some kind of door on there, but I can't put any doors or anything up unless I have a flag down, I believe. Oh. This is one of my magazines. I, I don't know why it's floating here. Um, <laughs> anyway... Let's throw everything that we don't need right now into the storage box. And I, I started grabbing pretty much everything, kind of preparing myself for the future. Grabbing things like bolts, a hacksaw, even some clothes as well. Because I don't know, may, I might end up dying. I might end up, you know, passing away from getting a little bit too close to too many puppets. I'm not sure. There's probably a million ways to die out here. But um, I want to grab some extra clothes just in case something like that happens. So I'm not going to start out completely naked, essentially. And just for fun, I could do something with this pumpkin. And I know Halloween's passed and all. But I really wanted to try it anyway. Can we put this somewhere? Or can we only hold on to it? Here, let's try it this way. Um, I can't put it up on the counter, it seems like. Okay, there we go. Let's check it out. 
<laughs> we got a nice cute little jack-o-lantern and I think it just always stays lit up right I don't think I can really do anything with it all right look at that we're already making it our home all right guys so a little bit of bad news I don't think I'm technically allowed to build in this area I started thinking a little bit and so I decided to jump into the discord and read the rules of the server and it doesn't seem like it's allowed. It, it, to me, it's kind of vague. And I don't really want to take my chances on losing all of my loot. So I'm going to have to try and find a spot just outside the city limits here. Which isn't too bad. I was really hoping to get down a really cool beachside condo. But uh, that's okay. We'll find a cool spot to put an actual base down. So we will end up having to physically build a base instead of take over a room or something like that. But it's already getting dark again. So I think I'm probably going to try and pack up some of my important stuff. I didn't really have a whole lot of valuable things with me. So I'm just going to grab as much as I can and then make like a tree and get out of here. All right, so it has taken quite a bit of time, but I have mostly finished my base here. And unfortunately, in between my runs back into town and back here, I lost my katana. I don't know if I completely broke it or what really happened or if I dropped it and forgot about it, but it's gone now. And <laughs> I've just been using whatever knives I've found. And they're good for the most part on the smaller or skinnier puppets, but for the rest of them, not so great. So I've been having to use a lot of ammo as well. But we've kind of got the blueprint down. We've got the walls up, the floors down. We just need a ceiling and a couple of locks because I put this door up. And then I've also got the door over here. Oh, I'm still bleeding. Maybe I should probably take care of that. Nah, I'll be okay. 
Uh, but then I'd put a little door over here along with the window next to it because I want to have, you know, a little porch out here. Maybe we can put a bench or something out here and we can enjoy the night when the sun goes down. Um, but yeah, I needed a couple locks. And in order to craft those, I needed five padlocks, which I believe I have. I just need to go get the rest in storage. And then I needed another toolbox. For some reason, the improvised toolbox that I had was not working. I don't know why, and I couldn't figure it out. So I decided to go get supplies for another toolbox, which I should have. I just need a couple of wooden planks, which I've got in storage as well. So let's go ahead and craft this bad boy up. Should only take a few seconds. And now let's grab some of the padlocks out of our storage box. All right, now we've got the total of five padlocks and we can craft just the regular iron lock, which is gonna be easier for people to lock pick, but I'm not super concerned about that because we are in kind of a safe area where I don't believe they are allowed to raid us. I might be wrong about that. And our iron lock is only at 14%. So apparently the quality of the padlocks that you pick up do affect the overall quality of the iron lock. I don't know how that's going to play out on the actual door once we place it on. But let's go ahead and give that a shot. Okay, I mean, it, it seems fine. I don't really know how to tell if it's good or bad, but I guess it's there. And we can only afford one right now. I'm pretty sure we only had enough for the one. Let me double check. We've got one, two more padlocks in here. And it looks like that's it. Yeah, we're going to need another three more in order to make another actual lock. But that's okay. I just wanted to at least get that one on. I'm guessing people, if they wanted to, they could jump up here. Oh, shoot. Yeah, they can. <laughs> I wonder, are there any railings or anything that we can put up? I mean, there are half walls that we can put up. I guess we can see. What does that cost? Uh, that one's too big. There's a smaller one we can try. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so that's just going to take a little bit more rope, sticks, and logs. A total of one, two, three, four logs. I think that should be fine. And I'm wondering if they'll be able to... Well, I still have to finish the roof. So I'll do that here in a second, too. But I want to see how these rails look. Now, we were using a saw, but that ended up breaking on me. And what I'm also going to have to do at some point is actually add some kind of wall around our flag because otherwise someone can come up and start to take it over. And I think it takes like 24 hours or something like that for them to take it over. Um, so we would have a little bit of time to come over and, and make sure that they aren't able to do that. But we'll wall it off just in case. Okay. There it is, all finished up. You know, doesn't look all that bad. We're obviously at some point gonna have to upgrade all of this to uh, more reinforced wood instead of just the twig. But hey, we've gotta start. Let me go ahead and finish the roof here. And then, well, probably a little wall around this flag. And then we'll do a little bit more exploration. And there we go, we've got the roof up. And now I am sweating like crazy. I'm actually suffering from hyperthermia, which means we are way too hot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to offload some of my stuff in my storage that I built over here. All right. So I am almost completely naked, but I kept my shorts on for your guys' sake. And uh, I'm just going to jump in the water. So now if we go ahead and check out... Oh yeah, look at that. Just like that, our hyperthermia is starting to cure. I mean, it was probably starting to go into recovery as I was taking my clothes off. But this will hopefully kind of speed up that process. And we can enjoy the view and enjoy the water in the meantime. All right. We are totally cured from our hyperthermia. So I'm going to go ahead and gear back up. I know I'm going to put the, all the heat back on me that I, I just dissipated. But it'll, it'll give us a little bit extra time here. I can also take some of my, like one of my jackets off and things like that that's contributing to my heat. And I also just realized that we can pick up our entire wooden chest, even though it's got a bunch of inventory in it, and we can actually move it. So that makes it super easy to just put it right in our base. I thought we were going to have to craft a new one. The thing is, I don't know how to place it down where it's going to actually line up properly with the wall. So I'm just going to give it a shot here. Yeah, I think it's going to be kind of random when I set it down. You know what? We're going to leave it there for now. Now that I know that I can actually pick it up and put it wherever I want, that's good enough for me. All right, so I was able to just put it bed down. 
And so we've got that all kind of finished up. The last pieces, I just need to put like a little wall or something around that. I'm not going to do that right now just because I, I don't feel like it. I've been doing too much building. And so what I want to do is I actually want to head to the safe zone. I'm going to grab some stuff so I can sell it. And then I'm going to see if we can buy a boat. And the reason I want to do that is so that we can make traveling so much easier. Because we're kind of in a weird spot over here on the shore. We're, we're on the border of the red PvP zone. And I don't really want to go in there just yet. And in order to get anywhere else, I have to run all the way to either this railroad line up here. Or all the way down to the road bridge down here. And it's going to be a nuisance. So if we're able to actually get a boat then that would make things a million times faster in terms of travel. And then as soon as we get that done, I say we head out. Uh, I think I think we're going to go into a military base. So let me grab some sellable stuff here, and then we'll start heading to the safe zone. All right, so I just finished up depositing some money that I got from selling, just kind of some random things, and we have just over $20,000. And now I did already check out the boats for sale, and it turns Ahoy out we there. absolutely can buy a boat. Now, I don't know if we're going to need some extra gas or if it's already going to come pre-filled. I guess let's just go ahead and give it a shot. Now, I, I, I don't know where the boat went. I'm guessing it's down here somewhere, right? Yes, it is. Oh, no, come on. Don't break on me. Just, just chill for a second. You're doing fine. Okay, let me... Uh, and jump in. It's underwater, but oh, so am I. Um, I have too much stuff on me. This is not good. Oh my goodness. Okay, I had to put my backpack on the ground just so I could float to the top because my backpack was so heavy, but I got up. I'm not dead. Not yet, at least. Can we get in this without hurting ourselves? Okay, there we go. Alright, how's the gas looking on this thing? It is full gas and full health. Oh, this is amazing. So now instead of spending like 15, 20 minutes running from our base all the way over to the safe zone and pretty much everywhere else, uh, I guess let's see how long it takes us now. Okay, and just like that, we are at our base. I parked it just over on this side. I don't know if I want to try and hide it at some point, or maybe we can somehow build a little boat base down by the water. I'm not sure. I guess it would have made more sense to just pull it up right here. But that took us about a minute, like a minute or two, maybe at most. So that's much better than like the 15 minutes or more that it takes us to run all the way around. So that 100% was worth the money. All right, so now we've got a boat. I've offloaded a bunch of things. I've sold a bunch of things. And now I think what I'm going to do is... I, originally, I was thinking military spot, but I also realized that there are some caves around here, which I didn't know about before. And I believe there's a cave somewhere up in this area in A2. So what we can do is we can take our boat up north and then head out and end up right in this area. We can park it there and we can run up to around this area. Like I said, I don't know exactly where it's at, but I believe it's in this area. I have no clue what's in caves. I've never seen anything on caves. I just found out now that they are out here in scum. So I have no clue what to expect. I don't know if I'm underprepared or overprepared. But there's really only one way to find out, and that may mean my inevitable death. But if that's how it goes, that's how it goes.
All right, so I am near the area where I believe the cave is, and there's this big cliffside here, and I cannot for the life of me find the entrance of this cave. So I don't know if it's supposed to be at the bottom of the hill, which is what I kind of assumed, or if it's somewhere in between. I looked up top as well and couldn't find anything. And then I also just heard some gunshots in the distance, so I'm wondering if maybe someone's already in there. If so, I don't really want to impede, but I am super curious. I really want to figure out where the entrance of this cave is. <gasps> I found it. Wow, that, that was seriously hidden. It's behind all these bushes and everything. I just happened to look right around this bush right here, and here it is. Now, the thing is, I just realized I don't have any way to light up the way in there. And so if it's too dark, I'm not going to be able to see anything. And I don't have a flashlight or anything, but you know what? Let's just go in. Let's see what we find. Yeah, it is quite dark in here. And I don't know if I should... Oh, yeah, it, it's definitely too dark. I wonder if I need some, like, night vision or at the very least a torch. Wonder if... What does it take to craft a torch? Okay, I just need a wooden stick and some cloth. So let me cut up this bush here really quick. And I'm... Oh, I definitely do have cloth on me. I have it bundled up. And so I should be able to uncraft this bundle here. And then craft up a torch. And I don't know if we can hold it out while we're holding our gun. I guess we'll find out here in a second. And then I also have no clue how I'm going to light it. Did I bring any kind of lighter or matches? Oh, no. Okay, I did not. But maybe we can make a fire drill and maybe that'll allow us to light it. We'll see here. Aha, it will. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, that, that's going to leave us vulnerable because it takes up our hands so we won't be able to actually use our guns unless we quickly drop the torch it's still not very easy to see in here i don't know what to expect wait is this it wait what's on the ground here birdshot shotgun ammo is that all that's in here i was expecting maybe like a deep cave system no, this is it. This is the whole thing. Okay, well... That's kind of a bummer. I, <laughs> I kind of hyped myself up a bunch for this cave. And it, it was a real letdown. So I guess let's just drop this torch. Oh, it stays lit up. And I stuck it in the ground. You know what? I guess it'll let others know that uh, someone's been here and they just don't bother going in there. It's a big dud. Okay, well, let's look at the map then. There is this A2 military outpost. I'm going to head up there. I know there's going to be mechs. I know there's going to be a bunch of puppets, but there's going to be some loot. And with that, there's going to be a little bit of fun. So let's keep running. Let's head over there and hopefully make this long trip worth it. I ended up having to park my boat a little bit far away and trying to hide it in the rocks because right where I wanted to park my boat was actually another base. So I didn't want to leave it there when those guys got home and they found out that they just got a brand new and free boat. And who knows, they still might see it. But um, yeah, let's keep running. Let's get to this base. Let's go kill some puppets. All right, we're coming up to the base right now. I haven't seen any mechs just yet. Oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. I see one right there. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Let's take kind of a longer route along this way. I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled for any puppets or anything like that. But I think I'm going to try and get into this guard tower and see if there's any loot. Um, I really haven't had a whole lot of luck with these guard towers, but maybe we'll get something good. Uh, maybe we won't. We we can't get any further. The barbed wire's in the way. So, that one's out of the question. <laughs> okay. Let's keep moving here. This mech's making his rounds over here. Um, I think so long as I stick in the bushes, I'll be okay. Oh, what is this little platform up here? No, I'm running. Nope. Oh, get behind the rock. How did he see me? I didn't think he was even looking this way. 
Okay, so I was just kind of hiding and resting in this bush, but it sounds like someone else is already here. I was just getting up to go in, and his gunshot started going off. Must be over here. Okay, well, maybe someone else is going to do all the work for us. Oh, there's an entrance right there. So I wonder, it sounds, hold on, this mech is right here. I was going to say, it sounds like the shots are coming from above ground, but I think he's underground. Yeah, he must be underground. Um, well, again, I don't really want to be rude and, and impede on someone else's little mission down there. I don't know. Maybe he'll be okay. Maybe, maybe he needs some help. Okay, these mechs keep spotting me from a mile away. I'm still going to try and go through that ladder hatch, I think. Unless I can get in through the front entrance. I might be able to. Let me just hide in these bushes. They shouldn't be able to see me. Maybe I was sticking out too far. Okay, I'm moving in. I'm going to try and get in right now. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, they already opened the door. Let's get down here. Okay, yeah, he's clearly already been looting. There's a nice helmet on the ground, at least. Might grab that. Don't really need it. I don't know if he already searched these boxes, if I can even get anything from them. But I'm going to keep trying, regardless. Oh, uh, we got some milk. Actually, let's drink some of this milk. I'm really thirsty right now. Let's drink a little bit. So far, I haven't found really anything, and I'm guessing it's because this guy was already looting it all. I don't know. That's kind of a bummer. I guess I just have the worst timing sometimes. Well, it looks like we found the guy that was in here. Hello. Hello. Just saying hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm joking, dude. Hey, how are you? Doing good. How are you guys? Me and my buddy was go around looting. You know what I mean? Yeah. Find anything good? Uh, not really. I got this for you, buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm still, uh, I still have the MP5 yeah. from that welcome pack. That's pretty much all I've got. Yeah, pretty sweet. Well, I haven't been finding really anything in here. I'll let you guys, uh, do your loot and I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Yeah, okay. That's your loot. Yeah. Well, that was really nice of him. He gave me a free AK. I couldn't hear anything that guy was saying, unfortunately. Okay, so now <laughs> I'm getting to the top of this ladder. And there's clearly a mech right outside. But I'm guessing it's not facing us right now, so I'm just going to go for it. Yep, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Why, where am I hearing this music, by the way? Is someone playing music? Right nope, not stopping. See you later. Okay. Well, that did not go the way I expected it to, but we did end up with an AK-74U. Does this have any magazine or anything in it? Ah, uh, no. Okay. No magazine, no ammo. That's okay. Hey, I appreciate a gift. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like the mech found those guys. Well... I hope they made it out of there alive. I'm not going back to find out. Uh, <laughs> the The question is now. Now what do we do? I that was that was gonna be my big plan. I was gonna go to the military base and maybe find something. Wait, what's that smoke from? Is there an airdrop nearby? Oh, <gasps> there is. 
Let's go to that airdrop. That's good timing. Hopefully no one's made it over there yet. I'm going to sprint all the way over there, and hopefully we're the first ones there. I actually, at one point, I forgot to mention it, but I found a, a large screwdriver, which, so long as I have it on me, yes. It's still got 29 out of the total 40 uses. And then I have a couple advanced lock picks for a total of 10. And I also always carry a box of bobby pins on me. So we should have more than enough. And uh, hopefully, like I said, no one's been there yet. So let's go and find out. Let's hopefully we can get some decent loot out of it. All right, so we're coming up on the airdrop right now and it looks like the door is open. So unfortunately, someone has been here or maybe they're still here. I'm not sure. But maybe they've left us some decent scrap. Oh, it is deep in the bushes here. Oh, we only got about two minutes. Uh, what do we got going on in here? Nothing. Noth oh, gosh. Did they take everything in here? They most definitely did. There were zero items left. Nothing on the ground. Nothing. Oh, that's rough. My guess is, is it was someone with a vehicle and they grabbed absolutely everything out of there, threw it all in the vehicle and just took off. Okay, well, I do see this little farm home out here. Let's go ahead and loot that, see if there's anything there. And then I say we probably head home. Wait a minute. Oh, there is a dirt bike here. It only has one wheel, unfortunately. I was hoping maybe we lucked out and actually got a vehicle for a little bit quicker travel when we're on land. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my. I didn't even check this room. Oh, he scared the daylights out of me. Okay. Well, let me uh, finish looting here. And see if there's anything of value. Nothing in the fridge. Anything in the cupboards. Got another knife. I don't need that. Uh, any money under the mattress? Nothing. Let's check how much ammo we have. I was using a little bit on the puppets around here. We got eight more in this magazine. I did purchase a bunch more at the trader. So we're sitting okay on ammo in terms of 9mm. So I'm not too worried about that right now. Pepper seeds and zucchini seeds. Don't need those. Uh, maybe we will at one point. You know what? Let's pick some of these things up. Maybe we start a, a garden at some point. I don't know when. I don't even know how to do it, what I need for it, or any of that. But at least we'll have some of the seeds to get us started if we end up going that route. <laughs> Alright, so we have made it back successfully, put a little campfire down, I crafted up a little skewer, and what I wanted to really do is actually cook up this chicken and, and even add some black pepper for some flavoring, um, but unfortunately I think I need the actual griddle, or like the, uh, the just the little grill thing that you put over a fire, but I could not find one, 
So I'll have to settle for a skewer. I just have to figure out how to do that. I don't really remember how. Oh, you know what? I bet I have to cut up the chicken even more, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay. So let me chop this bad boy up. And then we should be able to make a little bit of a meat skewer. And I think we can still even pepper it with our black pepper. Um, let me make sure I've got that out. That's right here. Let's put some meat on there. Put some pepper in. There we go. And let's cook them up. And can we get a couple going? I guess we didn't really need this meat skewer because it auto automatically crafts it when we place it over the fire. Let's go ahead and put that chicken on there. Put some black pepper on that and start cooking that up. Now, I don't think my cooking skill is high enough to actually make any real good food. I think it's going to end up burned. But I'm going to let this cook. I'm going to warm myself up a little bit. And I'm going to start munching down. You know what? I think I'm just going to rest here for a little bit. I'm going to let this cook. I'm not going to wait till it's done uh, to show you guys because I'm not going to eat it or anything like that. But I'm just going to enjoy the rest of the night, this warm campfire. And I'm going to call it a day out here in Scum. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know. Throw a like on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this type of survival stuff. Make a ton of it. And I really enjoy it. And I really hope you do too. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Later.